This is our Rivian R1T. What we wanted to really illustrate with this music and the headphones here is the ability to have fun, the ability to generate some excitement without making noise. And the vehicles you saw came up silently. It's an ideal platform to go out and enjoy nature. When you're out there driving, whether it's on a mountain road or a back trail, you can hear the things around you. Now, I'm gonna walk through some things. I can see everybody wants to swarm the car. But first, I'm gonna walk through a few features on the vehicle that uh, just to sort of understand what we're looking at here. So obviously it's a five passenger vehicle. Uh, Lindsay who's in it has a beautiful digital interface that gives her control of our whole connectivity platform, allows her to access a level three self-driving platform. Uh, the interior is very comfortable. It combines some classically premium materials, some very nicely executed wood. Underpinning the whole vehicle is what we call our skateboard. And essentially, in the lower part of the vehicle, throughout the middle of the vehicle, is a large battery pack. Our biggest pack being 180 kilowatt hours. That allows us to get more than 400 miles of range on the vehicle. On both the front and rear axle, we have two motors, one motor per wheel. So when you're thinking about high-speed on-road performance, it allows you to use something called torque vectoring, help the vehicle feel more agile. But off-road or in surfaces that have uh, less traction, let's say a gravel road or a very sandy road, it's absolutely transformational. The way the vehicle performs, the way it responds, is like nothing you've ever driven before. But in addition to what's in the occupant compartment, we have a very large front trunk, a very large what we call gear tunnel, and then a host of really interesting storage solutions in the back, including a full-size spare integrated into the bed. We're gonna pop the hood, and in here we have over 330 liters of storage. It fits full-size suitcase, can fit you know, a full cooler. Larry's gonna help show what's in there by taking those things out. Thank you, Larry. <laughs> so while we're now, I've got all of your attention on the front of the car. There's something I wanna talk about, and that's the front-end graphic. Lindsay, can you shut the hood? So when you think about the front of the vehicle, the face of the vehicle, it needs to communicate this is unlike anything else on the road. It needs to communicate a sense of sophistication. It needs to have a face that's very identifiable. And of course, you can see this cross car daytime running light. And that's carried, carrying our two very strong headlights. They have a stadium form. You can see the graphics on them and the details are, are really incredible. I suggest everybody comes and takes a closer look later this evening. And it gives us something that immediately when you see it, you know that it's a Rivian. Now as I walk around the side of the vehicle, you're gonna see a very unique and clean body side, a very crisp line coming up, separating the cab from the bed. But you're gonna notice there's another door here. And this is, uh, as I said, what we call our gear tunnel. And this goes straight through the vehicle. This allows you to put everything from a surfboard to a snowboard to strollers. I have two kids and a third on the way, so that's a really big one for me. Very hard place to find, a, or very hard thing to put into a vehicle. Um, but all these things that typically don't have a natural place to reside very easily go into this space. Now, if Larry can pull that out of there, and while you're pulling it out, Larry, why don't you show us how that side bin also works as a step. So if you need to load anything onto the roof, makes it very easy to reach the roof. If you're gearing up, throwing on your snow boots, you know, getting your wetsuit on, it's a great place to sit. So again, this is all back to that point I made at the start. The vehicle's been designed in every way to enable adventure. Then as we look at the rest of the cabin, we go around the back of the vehicle. Uh, we've got a full tailgate that opens both 90 and a full 180 degrees. In addition to the tailgate, we've got an integrated tonneau cover on the vehicle, hard tonneau cover. It's great for aerodynamics. It also keeps it sealed and it integrates beautifully, so there's nothing wound up or coiled here at the top. It, it goes into the space provided there behind the cab. We're looking at some of these big macro features in terms of the packaging. There's lots of little unique features that are on the vehicle as well. Just to point one of those out, if you're off hiking and you forgot your flashlight, we've integrated that into the door, so you can pull it out of the side of the door very easily. So there's a lot of really nice, essentially Easter eggs built into the way the vehicle's set up. And it's something we're really excited about. So with that, I'd like to invite people to come take a look at their car more closely. But hold on. Around the corner, uh, there's food and drinks and an absolutely incredible view of the city. Uh, so I really invite you guys to have a great evening. Enjoy looking at the vehicle. Enjoy talking with our team. 
and enjoy the night. All right, guys, got a full house. So I wanted to start with a discussion around why we're here. Uh, why does Rivian exist? Why, why are all you sitting here today? And why are all of you sitting on the screens in Irvine, at the plant, in the UK, um, in San Jose? The reason these vehicles are coming together is because of all the hard work of everybody here. You know, we've all made big sacrifices to be here. We've left other jobs. We're working long hours. We're working weekends. But really, the core is why are we here? And the reason we're here is we want to build something better. We want to make the world a better place. What I'm responsible for are the battery algorithms and the battery management system. We call it the BMS. Each module within the pack contains one of these circuit boards. This is a picture of Arches National Park. It's my favorite place. Definitely looking forward to taking a uh, a Rivian vehicle out there at some point soon. I was running in the San Gabriel Mountains above Pasadena, and it was a beautiful night, and I looked over LA and saw smog. And at that moment, it clicked that I needed to help do something about the problem. After a while, I realized that I wasn't doing what I wanted to do to deliver something back to the world and make it a better place. That's what we're doing here. When I look at what car I wanted to buy, I can never find exactly what it is I want. Actually, the car I want is the one that we're building. What really motivates the company, what's really the heartbeat of the company, is the passion to create something that's not in the world today. I'm designing a product that I want one day to drive around and take me to those adventures. It's pretty cool. You have this A-line that carries through and it falls into the headlamp and picks back up in the fascia. It 
It's a uh, pickup truck that uh, performs like a sports car, does well off-road, and has a range of a uh, gas vehicle. How cool is that, right? So basically, this is where all the autonomous driving is going to happen, uh, integrating many different types of sensors between ultrasonic and radar and LIDAR and camera. It's going to transform mobility in many ways, and that's part of the bigger picture of Rivian. There's a big paradigm that's shifted that electric cars are not fun, that electric cars are not capable. We think that's completely false. But another thing that we learned along the way that was really important was that this gear up process where you like you put your boots on and you get ready to go was so critical to everything you do. So we designed this headed seated height specifically for that reason. I think it's breaking people's expectations of what an electric vehicle can do. They can be rugged, they can go off road. One there and one there. It's four. One motor per wheel. And top of it, we also have like uh, 400 miles plus range. This is mind blowing range. Yeah, it's badass. <laughs> The sensory experience triggers some emotion, so the tac tactility of the material is very important. And you can experience through like uh, seeing it and then touching it and feeling it. You can see we did some laser etching effect here. I feel like I am in the forest. The entire interface is one infinite plane to the left or right with one visible space in the middle. The applications are here. We can scroll through them. You can expand each application to full screen or down to its native state. The off-road maps that we will deliver will be contour-based maps as well as uh, satellite imagery, etc. So they have a very good idea spatially where you are. It's a really proud moment. It's cool for me to be able to see this come together. We're receiving the first incarnation of the vehicle body made into a skateboard of ours. It's like seeing your baby for the first time. We have been working on this baby for like a long time. It's really good. This is our one chance to come out. First impressions matter. It's gonna be covered in mud. I mean, that's the goal here, is to get this thing dirty. I guess the world's gonna know, for real. It wasn't just all talk. Monumental, I think, is the word that comes to mind. To finally be able to show everyone what we've been working on. It looked really cool. To me, we're halfway up the mountain right now. We're not at the top. We don't have time right now to really rejoice over how much progress we've made, because if we lose our attention for a second, we can still fall off the side. We still have half a climb left.